So if you got your CNC from one of these Chinese manufacturers, you're probably going to be get given a cracked version of Mac 3 and you're probably going to be given some files that you need to copy into the installation folder. Now, one of the problems that I had with this is that I kept on getting this error, this no XHC NC USB pod. Now, I've actually fixed the issue, but before I wouldn't be able to click on any other button and it would just freeze and the program would would crash. You can see that that isn't actually the case anymore. I can actually click around and stuff does actually work. Um, but yeah, if your Mac 3 is crashing when after you see this message, I think I found the fix for it because I copied this different file and it's now working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the route that I went through to actually find it. So I started to Google this problem and you can see that there are quite a lot of people who are having this problem with this NC USB pod. There's a lot of questions on the Mac support forum and specifically there are questions with the UCNC controller board. If you have a Chinese CNC like I do, you'll probably have one of these control boards in your control box. And I do have this one, I know for a fact, because I opened it up and I had a look. So it looked like I wasn't the only one. It looks like people are sending the wrong plugin file. You can see this here. And this is what I suspect was happening with my manufacturer. So I started to read all of these threads and they all pointed to a manufacturer's website. And unfortunately, this is what I got. So it was really annoying because people did say in the thread that uh, this had fixed their issue. But this page no longer exists, which is really annoying. So what I did is I jumped over to Wayback Machine and basically you can see the history of any web page. Thankfully, the page was actually documented. You can see back in 2016, this is the link, it showed this page. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't look like there is a translation for it. Straight away, I saw this as the number one thing. Now, this is exactly where you need to put it in. Mac free plugins. Obviously the link to download it is not found on the actual manufacturer's website anymore. So I thought I was screwed at this point, but if you go to the top and you see that this is probably the file name. So what I did is I searched for this specifically, and then I was able to find this page, which is, I'm not sure if it's the same manufacturer or maybe it's a page about it, just an information page. Um, but if you go down to the bottom, I had a look at all these download links and then I saw this, NC USB pod. So if you click on this, you'll download a rare file and inside the rare file is this DLL file. Now I copied this file into the plugins folder. I loaded up Mac free and the issue had gone. I could then control Mac free and I could start using it. So hopefully that explains the issue and I'm going to be putting the link to this file in the description. Uh, I'm probably also gonna back it up on Google Drive as well, just so that then there is always kind of a documented link that is always gonna be up for anyone to be able to download this if you are having these issues. I'm not sure if this is gonna solve 100% of the issues that people are having with this error message, but for me it worked and I didn't see this link posted on any of the threads because they were quite outdated. If you've found another fix for this, then please do share it in the comments because anything we can do to help out people that are new to these CNC machines, you know, me included, is a great help because I spent all day trying to fix this and it was so annoying, but I'm so glad I got it fixed and I could actually start using my CNC machine. Um, anyway, I will end it there. Feel free to like and subscribe and I'll catch you all later.